Hello friends, welcome to our YouTube channel RF Design Basics. In this lecture, we will study about binary parallel adders. In our previous videos, we have studied about the half adder and full adder. So half adder does the addition of two one bit number and full adder does the addition of three one bit numbers. For adding two n bit numbers, we need this binary parallel adder. So we can say a binary parallel adder is a digital logic circuit that performs arithmetic addition of two n bit numbers. And to implement n bit parallel adder, we require n full adders. And these full adders need to be cascaded in such a way that the carry output from one stage is connected to the carry input of the next stage. Now let us design a 4-bit parallel adder. So for designing a 4-bit parallel adder, we require 4 full adders. 4-bit parallel adder. We know for a full adder, if inputs are A, B and C in, then output will be sum and carry output. A, B and C in are the inputs and output are sum and carry out. So sum will be A XOR B XOR C in and carry output will be A B plus A C in plus be seen. This is full adder. Now we need to design this 4 bit parallel adder and this 4 bit parallel adder will add two 4 bit numbers. So let us take two 4 bit numbers. Suppose um, first number is A and second number is B and this A is having 4 bits a3, a2, a1 and a0 and this b is having 4 bits b0, b1, b2 and b3. This a0 and b0 are called lsb and this a3 and b3 are called msb of these two numbers a and b. For adding these two 4 bit numbers, we need 4 full adders. So let us design here 4 full adders 1, 2, 3, and 4. These are the full adders. Now, for this first full adder, inputs are this LSB of first number and second number that is A0 and B0 and third input will be C in. So C in here is the third input. In this case it is 0. Let us indicate here. This is A0, B0 and C in. In this case it is 0 and output here will be sum and carry. Let us write S0 and C0. Let us write it here also. The sum is S0 and carry output is C0. So for parallel adder, this carry output of one stage should be connected to the carry input of the next stage. This carry output of the first stage will be connected to the carry input of the next stage. So this will act as the C in of the second stage and output of the second stage will be S1 and C1. Sum is S1 and carry output is C1. Let us write here also. This C0 is connected to the second stage as C in and other inputs are A1 and B1 and output is sum S1 and carry C1. Again this C1 will act as C in for the third stage. So connect this C1 to the third stage. This will be C in for the third stage and other inputs are A2 and B2. 
a2 and b2 and output will be sum s2 and carry c2 right here s2 and c2 this c2 will act as the carry input for the fourth stage seen for the fourth stage and other inputs are a3 and b3 and sum will be s3 and carry output will be c3 right here s3 and c3 since this is the last stage this c3 will act as the msb of the addition so we can write the final addition as s0 s1 s2 s3 and c3 this will be our final addition let us take one example suppose we have to add two four bit numbers let us uh, assume first number is 1101 1, and second number is 1010 1, we have to add this two numbers so this lsb of these two numbers will be given to the first full adder and it will be 1 and 0 so right here 1 and 0 this scene for the first stage will be 0 so here it is 0 so now we know the sum output of the full adder is a xor b xor c so xor of all three inputs so xor of 1 0 and 0 we know XOR operation is odd detector. If we have odd number of 1 in input, then output will be 1. If we have even number here of 1, then output will be 0. So here output will be 1. This will be 1. And C output, that is carry output will be AB plus AC plus BC. So this will be 0. Now for the next stage, a1 and b1 are 0 and 1 right here 0 and 1 so 0 xor 1 xor 0 will give s1 so it will be 1 and carry output will be 0 again this will act as c in for the next stage and a2 and b2 are 1 and 0 so right here 1 and 0 so xor of all these three will be 1 and carry output will be 0 so this carry output will be seen for the next stage and a3 and b3 are 1 and 1 so right here 1 and 1 and xor of this 3 1 1 0 will be 0 and carry will be ab plus ac plus bc so ab is 1 1 so it will be 1 the final addition will be S0, S1, S2, S3 and C3. So S0, S1, S2, S3 and C3 we will write in this way. It is 1, 1, 1, 0 and 1. 1, 1, 1, 0 and 1. So let us check whether it is correct or not. This is binary number and decimal equivalent of this binary number is 8 plus 4 plus 1, 13. And this is 8 plus 2, 10. So 13 plus 10 is 23. Here it is 16 plus 4 plus 2 plus 1. It is 23. So it is correct. So this is how we design 4-bit parallel adder using 4 full adders. We can design n-bit parallel adder using n number of full adders. I hope this topic is clear to you. Thank you.